My name is Ruben Peralta from Cocalecas.net. Nice. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, Alberto. I'm a huge fan of your work. Thank you. And congratulations for your Oscar. I was talking to, to Tim and he was praising you because I, I mentioned that uh, Hibaro, it's one of my favorite animation now of like ever because wow. it, it's so deep because it has so many layers. First, it, it's visually amazing. Like, I, I don't know how you work on, uh, on, on creating this reality. Like, like, it's now so hard to differentiate when something's real, something's animated even with the, the sounds and everything. How was Hibaro like born from, 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 from you? Did the story of two predators fighting uh, to yeah. survive? Well, actually you define it very well. I don't know if you ever seen one of these National Geographic videos where there is like a crocodile trying to hunt a jaguar or vice versa. There are some versions in which the jaguar wins. Sometimes the crocodile wins, but most of the times they both end up end up hurting each other. Uh, so that was very much the main inspiration. That was not the starting point of the film, but when I was working on it, I happened to see these videos and I'm like, wow, this is exactly what I'm trying to tell here. Um, so it was born based out of uh, the urgency of trying to tell something very personal, which is what it can be some sort of like an impossible relationship or like a toxic relationship, um, which is very much what, what Hibaro is. You've been part of the revolution of animation because you were also in one of my favorite movies in the past years, the Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse. And from this movie, something has been different. How do you feel that we have in the future of animation? Because like I mentioned, now it's so hard to differentiate between reality and, and animated. And I have a mm-hmm. good friend that he works for Disney and he always explained me that Spider-Verse was something that all the specialists were watching because they didn't know how you guys did it. So what you can tell me about the future of animation from, from what I saw also from your work and, uh, yeah. and, and, uh, and what is coming from animation? Well, I think that we're in a golden age or a golden era of creativity generally. Um, so, you know, there is like a huge amount of networks now that they want to have movies and TV shows. And there is a lot of investment on that. As an audience, we don't watch films, we eat films. It's like It's almost like we are not even fast enough uh, generally to create enough TV shows and enough movies for the audience. People is watching films more than ever. Um, so animation, the cool thing about animation is that we still reinventing it constantly. Um, And the style is constantly evolving. And who knows what is gonna be about animation in 10 years. Uh, What we know is that we can do anything. We can make make you feel feelings for a bottle of water uh, with little eyes. You know, that's something that is is pretty incredible. And you can actually cry watching a movie of a little wheel of a car or a character that is completely stylized, like in the case of Hero or The Witness. So I think that we are extremely flexible. The future, I hope that the future is basically going into the direction that we are trying to do with Love, Death and Robots. I hope that the animation is not only based on this product that has been extremely successful, which is Disney and Pixar, uh, which was like the family friendly sort of heroic uh, characters. Uh, I hope that we can continue through this door that we open very widely and almost violently with Love, Death and Robots. Well, Alberto, thank you. Thank you, man. Like, I really, I really love what you did. It's one of my favorite. I think it's going to be a cold film from now. I think it's an amazing film. Okay. I had to watch it twice because it was so deep for me. I come from the American Republic, so I understand this, you know, the, the conquistador and, and this mythology that we have in our countries. So uh, I love it. And uh, congratulations and muchas gracias por tu trabajo. Vale, Rubén. Chao, man. Thank you. Un abrazo, Roger.